What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelswall.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create a gold shader and it's gonna be a pretty quick tutorial and uh, it's gonna be fun to see how we can create this gold shader and then you can use the same techniques to basically create any kind of metal shader uh, or plastic so without further delay, let's get started okay, so before we start in Maya, I wanna show you guys a quick reference so we can, uh, you know, like identify what we need to work on to create this uh, gold look. And I have these three images. Basically, uh, they're kind of like very similar. There is a difference between each one of them. For example, uh, the Buddha statue, you can see uh, this nice gold color and uh, the metal almost like a brushed uh, look have into it so you don't see the reflections very clearly you don't see like like a chrome it doesn't have like the chrome type effect it's more like a brushed metal so we want to keep that in mind when we're trying to create the gold uh, statue and this one as well it have more reflection than the buddha one but still it doesn't have very uh, strong reflection like a chrome for example and uh, it still have the brushed uh, metal feeling into it and uh, the same applies to this one as well this one some parts of it it does have a more stronger reflection but we're gonna create our gold shader to have like a combination uh, like trying to find the middle ground of what looks good in our scene so let's go to maya and take a look at the scene we have so this is the scene i have this statue that we have in 3dmoswall.com and uh, i have um, an hdri image uh, plugged into arnold dome light so if you go here Arnold light sky dome light and also I have a directional light and this light to have intensity of 2 and also to have uh, ray trace shadows is on it's a basic lighting setup as usual so this way we can get started easily and the plane is a basic uh, the ground is a basic plane and it have uh, that AI standard uh, material on it with basic no reflections or anything and uh, that uh, statue have the default fong material that comes in when you import uh, the model okay so now let's start adding uh, a new material to the statue so first let's go to the hyper shade and then let's click on arnold and then let's click on shaders and then ai standard service okay so now we have this new material and then let's select our statue and then let's assign so this way we have this here and then let's render as a default and then let's see what we got so far okay so it's done rendering and you can see everything's default and this noise is because the quality of the render now is really low we can get rid of this later so let's highlight this area so we can always render it uh, let's go to the shader settings and then let's try adjusting these settings so first let's select the shader and then the weight of the base so this area we need to do some tweaks on it the weight we can put it to one so this is the strength of the color or the diffuse itself and then very important thing metalness this is very important because gold is a metal so we want to make sure we have the metal all the way to one so you can see already it start look uh, metal but now it's kind of like a chrome metal and that's the look we want to avoid and then for the specular that's a very important thing to do for the weight uh, we can keep it one because we want it to be really reflective and the roughness uh, this is important to work on and this is basically uh, how well these reflection gonna be blurred as you remember in the reference uh, you can see we don't have very strong reflections they all kind of blurred and we want to achieve that look so let's do that right now so this roughness, let's start changing it manually like that so we can immediately see how uh, the reflections start to get blurred. So something around like 0.38 would be good. Okay, so this is good and then let's keep going down. And there is another important thing here is the coat. And this also influence uh, the coloring and also the shading of this material. So for now let's leave it as it is and then we need to change the color of the material to be more like a golden color. So we can do that both ways from either the color of the base 
or from the color of the code but since the code now is really low like it's turned off basically uh, we can't if we change this color it's not gonna affect uh, the color of our material so let's go back to the base color and then let's change it to something like a golden color and uh, you know this is you can always adjust it later for now I'm s for now like something like this let's see maybe something like this could work and uh, we can press 7 in our viewport and you can see uh, the look we, we're going here so it starts to look like a gold and let's render and see what we got with this result so let's save this image and then let's render okay so it's done rendering and you can see before and after it's a very big difference we start to get this golden color uh, look into our scene and there's a few things we can now adjust uh, one thing we can add more like a uh, reflection into the scene uh, basically we can't we we can't use it through the specular because the specular we already blurred the reflection on it and it have we have it already all the way to one so another way to add more reflection to this uh, uh, model and have the reflection more like a chrome type reflection but not so strong because we checked in the reference it's kind of more like a blurred reflection and we can do that using the coat so let's start adding a coat to this uh, material so first let's add a little bit like basically turn it on and then let's adjust the color to look the same you can see it's already updating in here and let's turn the roughness all the way down we don't need to have any roughness into our uh, material because we already got it from the specular and then for the index of refraction this one we don't need to worry too much about it since this code is not major contributor to our shader look but uh, we can increase it to something around 3 because this is going to enhance the look make it more uh, spread out and uh, let's render and see what what we got so let's save this image and then let's render okay so it's done rendering and you can see after we added the code we added this extra layer of uh, reflection and I think it looks too much because you can see now we start to get to the chrome type look and here more like the brushed so let me pull up the reference again and then uh, show you so here we don't have any type uh, chrome look like this one you can see here the reflections are really strong we start to see the HDRI but here you don't really see anything uh, any strong reflection like that so we don't want to have like this kind of effect so this is too much so let's turn it down so let's go back to the material and then uh, let's turn this down a lot so 0 0.072 these numbers you can always change based on your scene so let's save this image again and then let's render okay so now it's finished and let's see the difference so definitely we toned it down a lot let's delete this image and compare to the previous one so this is when we had no coat and this is when we added the coat so we added a few reflections but it's not very obvious and that's a good thing we don't want it to be like too obvious of course you could have a golden color that have more reflection than that uh, as you can see like from the reference there was a, a lot of variations but in this case we're just gonna have this a little bit of reflection uh, but mainly gonna be like a, a brush type metal so the main things here we added is basically when you want to create this kind of gold looking uh, material make sure the base weight is one so this way you have the color very like strong and then metalness need to be all the way to one because it's a metal and then the specular which is gonna affect how the reflection going on into the material we have it all the way to one and then the roughness this is something we can always play with you don't need to be specific like uh, like a specific numbers you can go like all the way up and then all the way down it totally depends on the look of your scene but in our case here we put it 0.380 and then the another important thing is the coat we have a really low uh, number of the weight of this coat and we made it the same color uh, of the gold shader and then the IOR index of refraction 
uh, this is you can always play with to customize the look you're looking for sometimes you could like for example the gold IOR is 0 0.47 but if we apply it here it's not gonna give us the look that we're looking for so sometimes you need to cheat and adjust based on the, the look you're going for it's kind of more like an art direction uh, job so this basically it guys this is how you can create a gold shader it's pretty straightforward once we are happy with the look of this shader what we can do now there's one last thing we can do to just enhance the look of it because you can see here there's like lots of dark areas and we can enhance that by adjusting the ray depth so if you go to the render settings and if you go under the ray depth this specular here you can change that to like let's say three and then let's save this image and then let's render okay it's done rendering and you can see before and after it's pretty big difference and this uh, ray depth for the specular really enhance the look of the gold shader and make it uh, look much more realistic so this is something to keep in mind when you're creating any kind of metal uh, anything that you have lots of specular and reflection always make sure you adjust the specular ray depth the more we add ray depth is the more gonna calculate the rays into Arnold but I found like uh, two to three usually it does pretty good job without increasing the render uh, time significantly so this is one last tip I want to leave you guys with and uh, hopefully this one gonna help you you know enhance the renders and the look in your scene and hopefully this tutorial help you guys let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos feel free to check our website 3dmodelswall.com for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care